John, thank you so much for having us through the gates into this such iconic building. This is very much your home, isn't it? It certainly is, yeah. I've been living here for about six years now. Wow. And it is such a fantastic place. I love every bit of it. <laughs> 66 acres. Um, it was commissioned in 1682 by King Charles II and Wren built it, Sir Christopher Wren, the greatest architect I know. <laughs> um, and it was opened in 1692 for retired soldiers. And we are now in 2024 and it is still used for the same reason that it was built for. Uh, we sometimes walk down when we're walking there down the colonnade and we know that there have been thousands of soldiers, or as ex-soldiers I should say, sorry, former soldiers. The stories they've been telling each other are the same sort of stories that we've been saying to each other, but on a, a more modern basis now. And how many of you live here? Uh, we, at the moment we've got 277 pensioners and of that there are 16 ladies. And talk to me about your, your dress, your uniform. We know that when we are in the showground for this weekend, we know when we see a Chelsea pensioner because of the red coat, but there's significance to it. There is. Um, when we actually wear the, the core scarlets, that means we're representing the hospital. And when we represent the hospital, we're also representing the wider army. So even though we're ex or former soldiers and all retired personnel, we're still representing the regular army in our dress. When I first came here, it was just like joining the army again, with all the horrible stuff out of the way, like fizz, getting a pearl, you'd have to do that. Uh, but it's just like falling back into place. The camaraderie, the banter, um, it's absolutely brilliant. It's such an iconic look, but also, you don't just have the Longines Global Champions Tour here this weekend, but you have so many iconic events here. What is that like to have in your back garden? It's really good, actually. Um, some people might think that it's a, a hindrance, and things get in the way, but it's not. It gives us something to look at while they're building it, but also, once it's running, we can visit. We watched them building from nothing, watched all the sand and the dirt come in, the lay the arena, and then yesterday, we got to see the horses practicing and getting used to the area before the show started today, so it's been absolutely fabulous. As a tour guide, I get to see the whole hospital, and I'm very lucky because I can show people around. My favourite is the chapel, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, designed by Wren, built by Wren, to his own predilections, um, no constraints. He was just a brilliant man. My hero, actually. And he's only as tall as me, five foot three. <laughs> <laughs> he wants a nice, easy chapel that's easy on the eye, that will make the pensioner feel welcome and relaxed. Actually, this painting is extraordinary. Yes, Tell me a little bit about this. It was painted in circa 1715 by Sebastiano Ricci and his nephew Marco Ricci and it has been accepted by the artistry world as being one of the finest perspective paintings of that period. Wow. And it is absolutely brilliant. We are so lucky that <laughs> you've let us experience just a small part of where you live and this extraordinary building. And I know that you'll be there for this weekend is the Longines Global Champions Tour. So John, I think we should get back to the action. Okay, Come on. sounds good Let's to me. Go.